Tonight, a southeast Grand Rapids neighborhood is back to normal after a police standoff that lasted for hours. It started this afternoon and ended just before 6 o'clock tonight. A suspect wanted on drug and weapons charges. 13 on your side's Micah Cho was there. He joins us with details on the suspect and how it ended. Juliet, the standoff did end peacefully. The suspect came out with his hands up and was put then into a squad car. Unfortunately, um, that particular subject uh, barricaded himself into the home, uh, which brought out a number of resources, including the special response team. The six hour standoff between the Grand Rapids Police Department and the suspect at a home off of Newark Avenue and GR's southeast side ended peacefully. However, it caused extra resources for the department to be tied up for almost six hours. Officers in their tactical gear surrounded the house at one point even shooting tear gas canisters into the home to get them out a little faster. We surround the house and then we ask uh, and, and give commands like you're hearing in the background to come out. That is surround and call out. GRPD was serving a warrant to the 35 year old man. The suspect had felony warrants for both drugs and guns. Most of the time they just come out so we don't have this kind of reaction to it. Um, but in this particular case, that individual has refused to respond to us, which brings about this reaction that you see before you. Again, the suspect was arrested and taken into custody. He is facing various felony charges. Julia. Micah, thank you. Tonight